lot of people use a program called Pal Talk right here. They don't and uh, they don't necessarily want to pay for a green NIC. Um, so they'll use a black NIC like I do. We'll log on. And this is what you get is a lot of advertising like this. And if we actually go into rooms, see that pop up? Especially ones, see this pop up here? See, just by bringing my mouse over this stuff, I'm annoyed with these ad ads. very very annoying now we've got ads loading here see this and then and and these these advertisements are a real pain in the ass well, let me at, exit out of here and show you something we can do to get around those okay we're gonna go to my computer here I'm gonna open up my local disk go into my Windows folder next let me go backwards I'm going to slow down, local disk, my computer icon, local disk. If you're using the old version with XP, it would be here. Um, then you're going to go to your Windows folder, open that up. You're going to look for your System32 folder next. Okay, now we're going to look for drivers, which is right here, drivers, and then ECT. Here's your host file, okay? Now we want to send that to our desktop, create a shortcut for it. Okay, see it now here? There's the shortcut I made. Now, we can edit this. This host file allows, determines what webs, what uh, domains and stuff are going to be allowed to go through our web browser or not. Um, all those advertisements we just seen, we can block those simply by editing our host file. I've already gone into my DOS window while I was on PalTalk, and I've seen that exit.paltalk.com and advertising.paltalk.com were two connections that were there when I typed in that stat. Okay, so if I want to block exit pop.paltalk.com and advertising I'll have to edit my host file and the way I'll do that is I'll I will open this with notepad okay I'll choose open it's gonna give me a list I'm gonna choose notepad right here then click OK now we have our host file open in notepad I'm gonna add this line and this line to the bottom of that host file right under local host down there let me paste that in pause the video if you need time to to do this on your own now I'm gonna save it now let's log on to pal talk and see what happens this should have killed those advertisements. Now, this comes up, but we don't have the advertisement. The page can't be displayed. That's about the only pop-up you're going to get now that we've done this. Remember we had them popping up down here before? Now look, they stopped. no pop-ups. The downside of it is if you do want to look at somebody's profile because it's run on on the uh, 
advertising part you might not see that I just love the way my mouse does that for example if I click here and want to see more about her I might not be able to see some of these things let's try a different one Yeah, see how these pictures are blocked out now? We can't see them. Okay, this is real simple to remedy. We can go right back by just closing this out again. We can open this again with Notepad. Now, if we do want to temporarily view those things, we can put a pound sign here, which is the same thing as commenting the code out. Uh, save it. We'll get our ads back, but we'll be able to see those things. So let me go back there and do that again. Like I said, if you want to see profiles, you've got to put up with the ads. Uh, Now let's look at his profile. Uh, now we can see him. Now we can see the pictures on his profile. Okay. And it's and then always close this out before you make the changes here. Okay. Always close Pal Talk. Now I'm going to go back and block all those ads again just by taking that pound sign out right there. Let me save that. This not only works with Pal Talk, it will work with any kind of any kind of uh, any kind of program that you got that throws advertising at you. A lot of free programs like Pal Talk throw throw all kinds of ads at you that you don't necessarily especially like porn and stuff like that. If you go into an adult room, you might not want your kids to see that. And this is the way to block those. Once again, you can see I have no ads. And that's how to do it. That's it in a nutshell. So use your host file to block unwanted ads. And remember, always close the application that is throwing the ads at you before you edit your host file there.